a most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. What are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. So, it's away we go, then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, I've got to go for a man who rarely makes a mistake, Thibaut Courtois. A great shot stopper, but then again, so are most other keepers. But what sets him apart, for me, is the way he commands his box. Um, and that he does with supreme authority. And he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. It's Kroos! This could fall anywhere! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. to safety that's a throw Casemiro that was good pressing forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening Stuani out wide to the right. Stuani. Casemiro goes looking. And it's Stuani. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. And he's going to have his name taken. Either side yet able to find the net. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Lucas Vasquez. Modric. Casemiro. And now the breakaway. loose who's getting there deftly done back into the middle Benzema and that has been clubbed away and the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card and it's Modric Casemiro. Crunching tackle. It's a loose ball. 
other side really getting hold of the ball. Plays it. Gross! And that really should have hit the net. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Forward, what does he try from here? Benzema, Modric. Now the counter. Good determined running there, but run back by the defence. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. And he's whipped it in low. Modric. And there's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. Interesting half, just missing goals. So, don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. So, we're just settling back into this second half. Madrid can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Kroos really struggling to influence the game. They're just trying to negate his influence, and it looks like whatever it takes. Modric. Plays it out to the wing. With a delicate ball. It's come loose. Baran plays it forward. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Lucas Vasquez. Offside. Yep, looks it. He may have been caught offside, but Benzema may have been born offside, but he'll continue playing on the shoulder of the last defender, I can tell you. <laughs> It upfield and it's Bale. This defense just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting him. It's Bale! And he's there to make a great save. Bale really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. So the ball's got out of play, and a change is upcoming. And that's been levered clear. And out to safety. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Breaks on here. Casemiro clips what shoots! Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Bale really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Madrid take the lead. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. Pushes it out wide. 
Looking to break out here. Lucas Vasquez goes for goal. It's a goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Madrid are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Girona have decided now is the time to make their final change. Things starting to look very comfortable. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Now it's Dumbia. Stuani. It's got through and... And a shot! Oh, should have put that away. Yeah, this is part of the job. Head down and keep plugging away. And it's Bale. Lucas Vasquez. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Benzema plays it out to the flank. Chance! Time for a change in personnel. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. The final five minutes. Away from immediate danger. Lucas Vasquez has been caught there, it's a foul. No hesitation, he's straight into his pocket. It's a second yellow card and he walks. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Girona are down to ten men. Carvajal. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Now it's Stuani. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Nicely measured pass. Going for goal! Oh, great save, real... The final whistle. Decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big